you guys notice right here from the half rope and the knee shield right here, okay? Uh, we're gonna focus on uh, trying to catch our waiter sweep, right? That we've been working these last weeks, okay? I'll try to work the waiter sweep, but the guy is not letting me. He's really keeping their feet together, okay? Kind of leaning away from me, uh, rocking my hips to the left, he's not gonna do it, okay? So that's when we're gonna need to use the butterfly guard, okay, or the butterfly hook to lift my partner up and create more angle and leverage to pick them up and also more space to go underneath them, okay? So watch, I want to turn this way, okay? Exactly. Okay, I want to shrimp out. Watch how my left foot goes. I like a lot to do it right here. A lot of people like to do it from there. I, I mean, it can work, it right? works for some people, but I feel like you pick or leave too much of the weight on the hip. I recommend more here on the knee. And watch how my right leg helps me to lock it up. Okay, when I lock it here, I'm gonna rock a little bit, but see, she's gonna put her hand on the ground to stop me, to push back. When that happens, that's when my right foot goes on the ground. I want to shrimp and bump them over my head. So I can have more length with my right arm to go all the way around the hip. I'll turn this with you. Okay, so now I'm in a better position. I'm completely underneath. My arm is all the way around her hip. She's not on my bicep, my elbow is open. Now from here, when I grab the ankle with my left hand, and I'm gonna lift my hips, okay? With, with the goal to keep her knee off the ground. Once her, sorry, her foot off the ground. Once her foot is off the ground, I'm gonna pendulum with my right leg, and I'm gonna pull that ankle, so I can force her hips to the ground. Boom. And I'm gonna get out on top of my partner right here. Now, but that hook that I used to sweep, it's also that hook is gonna help me to frame her, to not let her close her guard or attack me in a triangle. Once I'm here, I'm gonna, she's gonna try to frame me. So that's when my right hand, left hand, she's gonna just grab the lapel. You don't need to go all the way toward the head. Okay, you just gonna grab the lapel, I'm gonna force that long step back. Left knee is gonna go on the ground, left elbow is gonna go on the ground. I'm gonna long step, and my head is gonna connect to her chest. And that's when I come back, walking back toward the hip, to rotate her, to keep her hips away, and secure the back. And I get the position now. Okay. Sometimes you're gonna get to this move, and the guy's gonna underhook you, your arm. Okay, so you're gonna be here. You're gonna do the same thing. Try to rock, it's not working. You shrimp, you bring them to you, rock them. Square up, bump into your head. You're gonna do the same movement. Your partner now is gonna underhook you. If you stay here for too long, you're gonna be able to break your grip and get deeper and deeper. So once you see that underhook, immediately lift your partner up. Right knee goes in between the legs. Sometimes it's a good thing that he they go for the underhook because now this sweep works really well and it's very very uh, strong. I'm gonna shoot my left leg through. Okay, and now my right hand is gonna come out to frame her and turn it now into single legs. It's already positioned for me to go to a technical stand leg. Left hand goes under the leg, in the leg to my shoulder, and I'm gonna go for my extra push, bring my feet back, scoot away, and I can now run her over, or can go and find a grip on the pants to bring her towards me, secure my double underpants. You can use that grip on her leg to keep her legs away from you, and then secure the pants right here. Finish the cycle.